So if you remember our raised bed garden from the past videos, we're gonna add to it. I'll walk you through, show you what we got going on. Got some of our potted plants in here, some Peggy Myers. We got some hydrangeas, some strawberries, a rose. Uh, these were all propagated from cuttings that I made. Got some of our blackberry plants over here and even a couple of dewberries. So about the only thing we have left in our raised bed containers are some peppers. We're getting ready to start our fall garden. We've been slowly pulling up tomato plants and getting rid of some of the pepper plants as they quit producing. We had zinnias and sunflowers in here. We pulled all those up and uh, they reseeded themselves. Got a sunflower coming up and these zinnias. But what we're doing over here, we're making us some raised bed rows. I'll kind of show you what this little system looks like we're doing. So what we've been doing is laying down a layer of old hay. This is just some leftover hay from uh, last year. Then we come back and on the top of that, we've been cleaning out our uh, horse stalls and putting that, you can see here, we're putting that on top of the hay. The next step is we're having, to, we're making compost, but we don't have enough to put down. So we're going to buy a couple of loads, we'll buy a couple of loads of compost. And that's the final ingredient. We top the bed off with this compost. So in between our beds, just like over here in our raised bed garden, we're putting down just some mulch just to kind of define it and uh, define where our rows are and where you can walk between. I guess I should have said the, the first thing we're putting down is a, a, a weed barrier. And this is some leftover weed barrier we had. Uh, we were a little short at the end, so we had some old plastic trash bags and stuff we laid down. But we're gonna work on getting this finished up today, but I thought I'd share with you uh, our raised bed rows that we're working on. And we're gonna try to get something planted in it for the fall. Probably put some uh, broccoli, cabbage, try something over here, see what we can do with it. All right, we're gonna finish this up and move on to our next project. So we made a trip this morning. We went and got us a yard and a half of uh, some nice compost. Got us some mulch. We'll put the compost down on top of the beds and put the mulch in between. We want to get these raised beds finished up today so uh, we can start planting, getting some of our fall plants put down. We've got the compost down on these last two rows and just show you a little bit i want to remind you what these rows look like so we got leftover hay is the bottom layer and then we came back in and we put uh we had some uh, we cleaned out our stalls and we put uh the horse manure from the stalls on top of the hay then we've came back on top of the hay and the manure and we're putting this good compost we get locally. It's uh, just a ground, ground up uh, bark and a few other things in it that uh, it's worked real good for us. It's, matter of fact, it's what we've got in our raised beds over here. So we've had good luck with it. So uh, I'm gonna bust these bags of mulch and I'm gonna put them down between the rows kind of look at everything and uh, we got quite a bit of mulch left but we got plenty of places for that to go and we'll uh, get this uh this red mulch down in between and see how everything looks
Well, that's it for the raised bed rows. We got them finished up. Next step is to get something planted in them. That'll probably be in some future videos. We'll bring you along on that. Hey, thanks so much for watching and supporting our channel. We appreciate it so much. As always, keep plowing, planting, and picking. God bless.